So for a little while, the Honda Civic Type R to my left, your right, has been Autocar's favorite big hot hatch of the moment. But there was a little while when Volkswagen released a Golf called the Club Sport S that we thought was absolutely fantastic. Well, now there's a new limited edition Golf. It's called the TCR for touring car racing inspired. So let's have a go and see if it has what it takes to beat the Civic at its own game. If you like the rest of this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you turn on notifications, you will never miss one. So the Golf GTI TCR has its power increased to 286 brake horsepower. That's up from the 242 of the GTI Performance. It drives the front wheels through a seven-speed DSG twin clutch gearbox only. There is no manual option, but there is a standard, a limited slip electronic differential. Now the graphics pack you see on the side costs 500 pounds as an option. You do not have to have it. The 18 inch wheels you get as standard and that's what we have here. Now, if you upgrade to a performance pack, you get 19 inch rims with a 20 millimeter ride height drop. You can even have Michelin Cup 2 tires as an option on those, but we do not have those here either. But more on the Golf in a moment because, first things first, the Civic, which is the car that all of my colleagues think is the four and a half star doyen of modern hot hatchery. I like it a bit less than some of them, but I do think it's deeply, deeply impressive. If not, deeply, deeply exciting and not necessarily always 100% rewarding, but what it is, is massively fast and really, really capable. So what do we have? Well, it's a modern front-wheel drive hot hatchback, so it gets a big turbocharged engine, two litre turbo, making 316 of your Queen's brake horsepower. And I can put it into anything from comfort or sport or plus R, type R mode, I suspect they call that. And that firms up dampers and engine response and also steering weight and it does give it a very heavy steering system when you're in full-on mode the engine's over square so it does rev out pretty well I mean all these turbocharged engines make quite a lot of torque from low down but because it's a Honda it's a relatively revvy engine and it is worth taking it out all the way Bangs into its limiter at 7 it really gets on really fast. Body control's really tight. And it turns in, to be fair, really incredibly well. And then it just hangs on. But here's the thing. It feels more, not more, it feels as much of, say, a super saloon than a hot hatch. It grips loads at the front. It grips loads at the back as well. But there's not a lot of sort of mid-corner adjustability. If I, if I get into a bend and lift, it just slows slightly and its line brings in, but it doesn't do any of that sort of pitching stuff that you get in a Renault Megane or a, a Ford Fiesta ST or you typically get in a Ford Focus ST as well. It has a proper limited slip differential at the front, so it puts its power down exceptionally well. There is a little bit of torque steer, but with getting on for 300 foot-pounds of torque and being front-wheel drive only and having a limited slip differential, all of those things can corrupt the steering quite a lot if you're not careful. So while there's quite a lot of weight in the steering and a little bit of corruption to the steering, I'm not sure that I'm getting genuine road feel in huge amounts. But it feels to me quite exciting incredibly fast the brakes are superb by the way it does feel like a car that was developed to go very very quickly on a road or and or on a racetrack so let's find out exactly how quick it is around uh, what is quite a short circuit here at Landau only sort of five corners or so most of them go the same direction
So the Civic is about as fast as any front-wheel drive road car around this small Landau circuit, setting a lap time of 46.6 seconds. It reaches 106 miles an hour down the back straight and its apex speed, the lowest speed through the fastest corner, is 56.8 miles an hour. This is the Golf, and I've had a lot of time for the Golf GTI. I've got a real soft spot for it because it feels like the car that's rewarding when you want, but actually if you have to drive it every day, and most people do drive their hot hatchbacks every day, it's the better riding, sweeter steering, just as responsive most of the time. It's more hatch, less hot, maybe and maybe that's okay. That's certainly where Volkswagen pitches the GTI. Whether it's really appropriate for the TCR, which is of course inspired by cheaper touring car racing program, TCR, touring car racing. For those of you who are my age, you will remember TCR being total control racing. For those of you who are not my age, uh, you could Google it and YouTube it. It's like slot cars, but they could change lanes. So when Scalextric was one lane at a time, except to crossovers, TCR could swap lanes. I'm not ever sure how well it worked, how much it took off. So anyway, is golfiness appropriate to touring car racing badging? Well, there are suspension tweaks. What there are not are the same suspension tweaks as was on the Club Sport S, even though perhaps that would have made sense. But the Club Sport S was apparently designed to set a Nürburgring lap record. This car is not, and is therefore tuned a bit more for the road. You will note, we're on a circuit. So although I'm in angry mode, I've gone into the mode button, I'm in sport. You can put it in individual so I can have stiff springs and light steering if I want. There's more noticeable body roll in here. It is quicker to start squealing and understeering at the front. It leans onto its body and bounces on it more. Body control in corners is worse. But I prefer the steering. I don't mind either engine. It's a two litre turbo. It doesn't make as much power as the Honda. It makes just over 280 horsepower, which is a lot for a Golf, not as much as the old Club Sport S, and not as much by a fair distance as the Civic, it's giving away 30 brake to the Civic. You do feel that actually in a straight line, I think you know the Civic feels more urgent all the time. I also think the Civic feels A, keener to turn in the first place. You turn in on this aggressively and it pushes at the front more than the Civic. It is a car that is less happy in these conditions. I'm pretty sure it's going to be slower too. Golf then sets a lap time of 48.6 seconds. That's a full two seconds slower than the Civic. Now, partly that is down to the fact that it is not as fast down the straights. It reaches a peak speed of 104 miles an hour. That's about two miles an hour off of the Civic. And its apex speed through the fastest corner is 54.8 miles an hour. That's a full two miles an hour slower than the Civic. So it is slower everywhere. So the key differences really are the lesser body control in this, the fact that it washes out more, that it's not so fast in a straight line is not really here, here nor there. This is not a lot less exciting than the Civic, but it's enough in these conditions. Given it wears the badge, TCR, its demeanour is totally appropriate for a Golf GTI.
I mean, it's it's a terrific GTI, but I think if you are putting a race-inspired badge on it and charging more money for it, I think it probably has to get a bit more exciting and hardcore than the Golf TCR is. Straight twin test on circuit on this day, the Honda is better. If you've enjoyed this twin test, do not forget we are here all the time with new car reviews, comparisons, drag races, features and so on. So if you subscribe, like and if you turn on notifications, you'll never miss a thing. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.